guys, John Rettinger here with an unboxing for you of an 8GB iPod Touch. This is just a review unit, so let's go ahead and dig in and get started. I anticipate the experience of using this for the few weeks that I have it will just be like an iPhone minus the phone. So here's the box itself. It's got a picture of the unit on the front, and the iPod is kind of right behind that picture. Really thin packaging. It says iPod Touch. Little Apple logo on the back, iPod on the side. It's very hard plastic. You really think will definitely uh, protect it for shipping. Let's open it up right here on top. It's got a little tab. I think if I pull that, makes a pulling off plastic farting noise. And we can open this thing up. The plastic just comes right open, it's hinged on the back. Here's the iPod inside. Looks like it's secured in a little bit with another piece of tape. You can pull that tape off again. And it actually takes the cover and the picture right off with it. There that goes. That looks like I got an iPod sticker on my desk. Probably just pull this whole thing right out. There it goes. Out it comes. Well, this thing is very thin. I'm actually uh, pretty surprised. Let's go ahead and keep pulling this out. It's kind of sitting on a piece of hard plastic right there. Let's see what else comes in the box. Designed by Apple in California. Of course it is. iPod Touch. Little booklet. Nothing terribly exciting there. Sinking and charging cable. Universal dock plastic piece and your iPod headphones. Nothing terribly exciting in there, but it is nice to see what Apple included. It's actually very impressive how they included all this in such a small package. Also, there appears to be a little cleaning cloth right in the middle. Let's go ahead and take a look at the device itself. So here it is. Very, very, very thin, and probably the one time you'll see it on the back without any fingerprints. You can see the flip minnow and me right there, the reflection. Hey guys, giving you a smile. Uh, there's the antenna for the Wi-Fi and just a kind of a metal-ish mirror finish to the back. The one button on the front. Let's go ahead and give this a necessary comparison to the iPhone. Look at them from right on the top, you really can't tell a difference other than the iPhone's got that speaker piece right there that the iPod Touch doesn't. Let's go ahead and do the thickness test. The iPod is much thinner. It's, it's ridiculously thin. It's very impressive. But it's not so thin that it feels like you're going to snap in half. It definitely feels secure. So we've got your main button on the side. Volume rocker up and down on the left side. The bottom is your dock connector and your 3.5 millimeter headset jack port. Nothing on the right side of the device and the power button on the top. Let's see if this has any sort of charge in it. It's like it's got enough. Looks just like the iPhone when it's turned it on. Nice Apple boot screen here. It's cool with the sticker. It looks like I've got a iPod stuck to my desk. So it's telling me that I got to plug in and sync it with iTunes. I'll go ahead and do that a little bit later, but just want you guys to see this and let you know what I thought. So hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I'll use it for a couple of weeks, like I said, and do a review before I got to send it back. Hope you enjoyed. Again, this has been John Rettinger. For some exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash John4Lakers. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.